Hey you guys, um, this isn't gonna be like a hair video or nothing. This is like, um, not, I wouldn't say a rant. I would just say like, a, a like just getting my, like the, my two cents out about certain things. Okay, this is gonna be about relationships. Now y'all might be like, well, why is you getting relationship advice when you ain't been in a relationship for the longest? Let me stop y'all right there. I have not been in a relationship for the longest because I did not find the right guy. There is plenty of guys out there asking for my numbers. The reason I'm not giving it to them because, one, if I don't feel like you the right man, you ain't getting it. If I feel like you finna bullshit me, you ain't getting it. I feel like you fucking around, you ain't getting it. If you ain't on the same page as me, you ain't getting it. Like, there's a lot of men out there that ask for my number. But if I feel like you on some shifty eye shit, you looking at other women, mm -mm, that is not going to work. So I will, will chop you up in front of everybody in the mall. I see you looking. Oh, what, what you looking at? What? Um. Uh, you need to go ask for something? I can step aside and you can go do what you got to do. But it's just, I'm single because I have not found the guy that I feel is going to make me happy. Um. I'm working on it. Don't get me wrong, I'm working on it, but I don't like to announce or say anything until I feel like it's going to last. Because with me in the past, I announced the very next day some shit happens and, okay, what happened to such and such? Oh, girl, didn't work out. He gone, whatever. But let's get on with the video. I don't like, and ladies, I'm not trying to beat y'all up on nothing. I'm just keeping it 100% real. I'm not going to lie to y'all about nothing. I'm not a liar. Like, I'm not a liar. I'm into speaking the truth about things. What is there to lie about? If you can't handle the truth, you don't need to be in it. Um, I don't like when I hear a woman in a relationship comparing her relationship with her man to another woman's man like another relationship don't do that because you will lose every time you will fuck your relationship up don't do it stop it what they have is different from what you guys have so you can't compare what he does for her what she does for him you cannot compare that what your man does for you and what you do for your man is different don't sit here and be like oh well they go out every night. Why don't we do that? Um, well, if you got two kids, that's not going to happen too often. You have to understand there are different things that are in your life that are not going to allow you to do things that other people do. Just be happy with what you have. If this man makes you happy in a different way that her man makes her happy, don't worry about what they do. Don't worry about how they do it. Don't worry about when they do whatever they do. Don't worry about it. I just can't stand when I hear, he buys her gifts all the time. And my man haven't bought me a gift since two years ago. Okay, and now you have a problem with it all of a sudden because... And it's like it's crazy because this man has been doing the same thing for you for the longest. And now you're having a problem only because you've seen it, some, somebody else do something different for someone else. Don't, like, if you want to join the single team, go ahead. Come on. Come on and join us because that's where you're heading. Do not complain to your man because you see somebody else getting something different than what you were getting. Don't do that. Um, and, don't like, I don't recommend you, um, how should I say this? I don't recommend, like, if you're the type of woman, you like a, a dominant man, like me. I like my man, like, oh, I asked you what you want to do. I want to do this. Okay, done. We're going to do that. I want you to do that four out of five times. So that means when I ask you what you want to do today and you say, I don't know, you should only say that one time out of five. I don't like no submissive man, like... I don't, like, you or you're the man. Be the man in the relationship. I don't want to have to run shit. 
I don't. I'm trying to be the woman. Like, I'm not saying the woman have to be stuck in the shadow and doing what he said all the time. I'm just saying that's what I like. If you like a, a man to be submissive to you, go ahead and do that. Get what you want. But with me, I don't like that. I don't like that. I really don't. Um... But I'm like, all I'm saying is, if you are the type that you want a dominant man, look for you a dominant man. But don't look for no no woman of you. Be like, be like, oh, you can't look at me while I'm doing this. You can't talk. Oh, hell no. We not talking about that kind of shit. <laughs> and ladies, if you want to be the dominant one in a relationship, look for you a submissive man. You can find them. There's some out there. There's a lot of them out there. I'm just not looking for them. If I feel like you submissive as hell, um, you out my radar, huh? Who you want? What? Uh, no, no, mm -mm, you can't have my number. I can't. I don't speak English. Uh, what? No, I. Just, <laughs> with me, I don't do that. But what else is there? What else? Um, what else is there? And ladies, this is like the last, the last one that I have to say. If you are not into your man anymore, you're not, like, you're not into him no more, don't do this shady shit. No, don't do no shady shit, because men are already out there talking about how women are shady, sneaky, cheaters, shit like that. I can't stand it. Yes, we, we can be sneaky. I'm not going to lie. I've been sneaky, but I've never cheated on a man in my life. Don't plan on it. Don't want to. I'm not going to stoop to that level. I'm not a cheater. I don't have the heart to cheat. If I'm done with the relationship, I'm going to come to you. You're going to be the first one to know. I don't want to be in this anymore. And if you beg to differ and you want to try and save it, okay. But then if you try and save it and realize what I've already realized, then we're done. But I'm not going to be like, you know what? Let me just go ahead and get me another dude on the side and just like give him all my attention and then have him over here like what's going on. That is not how I do things. Now, there are some women out here that do that. And I just feel like you're just stepping in a fucking a mud puddle and walking into the house on a white carpet. You're fucking it up. Like, stop it. Don't, don't do that. And then it's like, it's crazy because when these women get caught, they're crying and they're not wanting him to say anything bad. He's going to call you every name out there like every name in the book he's gonna see you as a different person because now you are a different person you just cheated on them and they found out and it's like go ahead and endure your consequences i can't stand when a woman cheats and she doesn't want to be called a cheater a liar sneaky all that shit she doesn't want nobody to know everybody's gonna know these men are gonna pull out that phone and be like i caught you cheating this is going on world star hip-hop whatever oh i just caught whatever blah 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 blah. everybody's gonna know so think about it before you do it think about it before you do it if it's really worth it then okay i just feel like if you're done you're done don't sit here and go on to another relationship while you are in a relationship because you are one messing up something that could have ended nicely like on a better note a much better note and two, you are stepping into another relationship relationship, and on bad terms. So it's like, if somebody catch you, either way, you're fucked up anyway. So it's just, don't have, you don't have to do all this sneaking around. I, that stuff can be stressful, trying to make sure this dude don't find, that dude don't find, he don't hear, he, he don't hear. How the hell do y'all do that shit? When I think about it, like, okay, what if they live in the same town? What if they don't? What if I, well, you don't never know what somebody can say, what com what somebody can show and be like, oh, I seen this. I don't know how the hell y'all deal with that, but I cannot do it. But y'all just need to get y'all shit together. Like, ladies, let's get our shit together on this relationship type stuff. Like, if you are done, just say you done. Don't sit here and cheat on the man and then act all sedity like you don't know what's going on when he catch your ass, like, for real, like, no, if you're done, say you're done, if you want to work it out, say you want to work it out, just stop all this cheating stuff, don't compare your relationship to another relationship, and don't you get with nobody that is dominant, if you are dominant, don't get with nobody that's submissive, if you are submissive, mix and match, mix it up, you can't, 
you can't do that. Y'all are going to be sitting here. I don't know what you want to do. I don't know what you want to do. And then the other's going to be like, I want to do this. Well, I want to do this. We finna do what I'm doing. No, we finna do what I'm doing. Y'all, whatever. I just gave my two cents. And now I'm gone. Bye.